Well, hello and how are ya? It's Shenandoah Briscoe blog number 44. I do believe. Let me check real quick. Uh, we'll just pull up this. Wait a minute. Where are they? They were down here. Disappeared on me. Hold on. Huh. Disappeared. It was down here a while ago. I don't want that. Get rid of it. There they are. Okay. We'll just make sure exactly what we're on. Yep, 44. That's right. That's what I thought it was. Okay, good. Hey, I went out today. Um, it was a nice warm day. Got out there wearing shorts today. Of all things. March the 16th and I'm wearing shorts. And then tomorrow it's going to be St. Patrick's Day. But it's going to be a little cooler. So you know how that goes. Anyway. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I got my chair repaired today. I stopped down here at Dave's Vintage. Uh, Dave's Vintage Auto. Oh, yeah, those are some good guys down there. If you ever need any auto body work or mechanic work or any kind of work done on your vehicle, Dave's Vintage at the corner of uh, Barthel and North 3rd. That's right right, off, right across the street from the uh, Phillip 66 gas station. That's right. There's some good guys over there. So anytime you need a, you need a, a assistance with some auto body or or any kind of a insurance i mean if you need if you've got a insurance job or if you just want to uh work on your own car i think they have uh i i think they have the garage available so you guys just check it on out down there don't have a number to give you or i sure would uh but that's okay that being said, I stopped by the bowling, I mean by the uh, um, boat today, went into St. Charles Casino, and, uh, well, well, Station Casino now, went into Station Casino this morning, or today, and, well, you know how that goes, you throw in your money, and you lose all your money, and eh, $20, uh, that's more than I should have spent, I shouldn't have spent that at all, because, uh, well, you know how that goes, I have you're short on money then you're short on money but we tried we tried anyway figured i'd get out and have a chance to do something i'm gonna have to pause out on you for a second because if you well maybe i can do it without that hold on there we go There we go. Got us a nice ice cold drink of water. Oh, Lordy B. Lordy B. Three minutes into it. That's all. Oh, let's see. I've been into Dave's uh, vintage several times. Yeah, that would help, please. Thank you. Ah, and then maybe the one behind me out, if you would, please. Notice I'm getting my lighting changed. Alrighty then. Yeah, that's better now. Coloring's better at least. Got a little sh little sunshine in my uh face. You can see the redness. But that's okay. Uh, I had I enjoyed myself thoroughly out there today. Saw a couple of people. There was a feller playing guitar over there on the uh, uh gazebo at the uh well on the stage down there in in uh Frontier Park and uh People getting out on the Katy Trail. Had some kids do me a favor while I was down in the lower parking lot there of the uh, of the uh, casino down there. Uh, there was some three teenagers, two guys and a gal, and they come over, and I had my hind end had shifted over, and I had them give me a little push over, so that was always good. I tell you what, when you get onto that uh, casino and you need some assistance, there ain't nobody better in there to assist you. Those folks are real good about helping you out whenever you need a hand. So, 
go on down to the St. Charles Casino, I mean to the uh, Station Casino there and enjoy yourself. Play a little play a little uh, slot machines, a little roulette and some craps and some uh, Texas Hold'em or some Blackjack or 21, whatever you want to call it, three card. Oh, they got all kinds of stuff over there. It's a fun time, any time. That's right. Let's see. What, what, what was I going to do? The other day I was going to do some singing, but I never got around to it. So uh, I guess you're going to be blessed today with no singing either because I don't really want to sing. I uh, don't want to uh, sing uh, about the moon and the tune and the spring. Uh, I want to sing. Uh, oh, I want. Oh, yes, I want. I want to sing. Uh, you go ahead and sing uh, about your moon and your tune and your spring. Uh, no, that there was no cartoon. It was cause the kid was called Owl Jolson. He was an owl. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good cartoon. I remember back in the good old days with the heckle and the jackal and uh and uh I guess it was Harvey cartoons is what they were. Anyway, then you then you had your uh W B, don't forget the W B Warner Brothers cartoons. And uh I wonder was 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 Bugs Bunny a Warner brother? I don't quite remember for sure. Well, for sure, for sure. I'm pretty sure he was. I'm pretty sure Bugs Bunny was a Warner brother cartoon. And then then you had yo Yogi Bear, don't forget Yogi Bear. Hello, Bubba. Hello, Yogi. There you go. Gotta watch out for the park ranger, Yogi. That's right, Bubba. I got to get this a picnic basket. Yeah, well, my bo my Yogi wasn't real too good right there, was he? I know. I was looking at the internet the other day over there on Facebook, and there was one of those uh, blogs up there. Well, it was not a blog. It was just a uh, um somebody posted a picture with Sam Elliott sitting there. He, and he was sitting there looking at the, uh, uh and he was sitting there th saying, uh, why in, why in the world do I want to push, why do, why is it that it says push one for English, and then they give you somebody that doesn't speak the language anyway? Makes no sense to me either, Sam. I couldn't tell you. Gunner, Gunner, ma'am. Why is it that whenever they ask you to push one you, it, for English, they give you somebody, they connect you to somebody that doesn't even speak the language? That sounds more like Sam. I thought I could get it out there. All righty then. Hey, looks like we're moving right along. Got a whole eight minutes into it. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> keep losing that microphone keeps falling down i'm trying to keep it up there you notice i grab it with my lip and pull it on up and, and uh make a little repair job on it stop down there by the corner there and uh i was gonna uh talk to some of the neighbors down there you know we never can never can talk you, uh, you never can outdo your neighbors. You know you gotta, you gotta be neighborly. Cause if you ain't neighborly, then people ain't gonna be neighborly to you. And that's one of those things. You just gotta try to try to be as neighborly with them as they as they would be with you. That's right. Oh lordy, nine minutes. Is that all? Boy, sorry. I'm looking at these things. I haven't been I've been trying to figure out uh some of my other stories to talk about. I I don't remember them very much. Uh I still uh um I still been uh starting to learn how to Skype. I got a Skype up here, uh, but I haven't I haven't Skyped with anybody yet. I did do the Facebook chatting, you know, um uh, the uh Facebook on, on, uh, I keep wanting to, uh, Facebook with my, um, uh, 
with Donnie, but I got the I got the Facebook video with uh, Craig, but I haven't got the Facebook video with Donnie. So, you know, one of these days I can Skype with Craig because I got a I got his Skype number somewhere. He left it for me, and uh, I've got my Skype number. I don't know what it is, but it's in my files somewhere. You know how that goes. You always I always file something away, and then all of a sudden you need it, and there it is, and you just got to look around for it till you find it, or get lost looking for it. Anyway, I'm going to have to, oh, doesn't, doesn't sound good in there, There's somebody jumping around in the tub, got uh, uh, bar uh my roommate's grandson here tonight. Great grand, uh, great grandson. Yeah, that's what's going on. He's all over the place in a bathtub in there. He, we were gonna wash, wa uh, wash you. Um, we were gonna um, wash them close, but they, uh, my roommate thought that maybe it would uh, mess around with my uh, blog, which it wouldn't. But you know how that goes. I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to folks on the way home on the Katy Trail. I just was moving right along. There was another ranger, though, out there today, um, down there by a uh, um, uh, disabled park. He uh, he stopped, and he asked me if I was okay, and I was like, well, yeah, kind of. And he says, well, what do you need? And I said, well, I kind of shifted over to the um, side of my chair, so... Uh, the same thing that the teens had done earlier. Uh, he got out of his car and he shifted my hind side back over to the other side of the chair. Too many muscle spasms. When you get them muscle spasms, they just poke you around in the wrong direction. And I do have a lot of them. Oh, especially, uh, especially, uh, um, when I'm on the Katy Trail or anything bumpy whenever I'm Whenever I'm hitting bumps, I have more muscle spasms. Uh. Well, did I tell you? Well, I know I told you that I flipped over on in the park, but I did. I don't know if I told you that that uh, apparently has scared me. I, I don't like to get anywhere off level at all. You know, if I'm not, if I, if my chair is not level anymore I uh it kind of scares me and I don't know why I, I guess I guess falling over in the park kind of got into my psyche and and I wasn't I didn't even realize that my uh psychological brain had picked up on that uh it just kind of it's weird um when you're uh when you don't realize that something scared you as bad as it did because I I had no idea I didn't know I was I didn't know I was even even scared at all, but I was. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna try to make a paper airplane. You ever made a paper airplane? I can't make a paper airplane, but I was gonna say, you can make paper airplane. I could probably make a paper airplane. It would take some effort and some doing, but I bet you I could do it. I bet you I could do it. Working real hard at it, I could fold that paper airplane into a paper airplane. Anyway, I I uh, paid off some bills today. You know, got to get the remainders of the bills, and then and realizing it's only the sixteenth of the month, and now I'm out of money. I mean, I had. I had just about I have just about enough to make it stretch and then I get my uh my uh, whole seventeen dollars in food stamps coming up. Can't can't wait for that. That'll be uh two days on the eighteenth I get my whole seventeen dollars. Hoo hoo Lucky me. Lucky me. Oh, fifteen, sorry, I was corrected there by my roommate. Fifteen dollars in food stamps. Boy, I tell you, you'd think that somebody in my condition ought to be able to uh get a few a few dollars more but they don't they they look at your they don't look at your situation anymore they look at you uh they the the thing that really gets me is 
is they ought to look at my situation a little bit better. Um, they tell you that there's standard deductions for this and standard deductions for that, but uh, if if you uh, um, tell them if you tell them one thing, then the uh, um, standard deductions don't count anymore. Uh, it's weird. I, I I tell you what it, it they said they said that's all I'm going to get for a uh, single person uh with uh um no extra no extras so they said this is what you're going to get and uh that just kind of really bothers me but that being said today is 15 or I mean my time is up and God blesses me and watches out for me anyway so I've always got enough to stretch it and make it through the month so I'm not really worried about that anyway this is Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? God loves you and so do I. You have a blessed night and we'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty then. Good night. <laughs>